all right everybody is Vito welcome back to the channel guys today I'm gonna show you how you can update your bios using an MSI motherboard specifically the b550 Tomahawk and uh, there's some things you're gonna need guys you're gonna need a pen drive at least a gigabytes and you want it empty um, another thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to go to the website uh, the manufacturers your motherboard and you're gonna download the bios from there and so I also want to say thank you so much guys for subscribing to the channel I really appreciate it if you like this content if you find it useful don't forget to subscribe and um, without any further to do just roll that thing <music> So first we're going to go to our web browser, we're going to search for MSI. And once we're here guys, we're going to go to support. And then we're going to go to downloads. And here we're going to select motherboards, select product category, motherboard, type. And then we're going to look for the series and type of our motherboard. Mine is a Mac series. And then the model. So mine is the Mac B550 Tomahawk. So I search. Okay, we're here. So now we make sure that we have the right motherboard. And then we can sort it by drivers, manual, utility, and BIOS. We want BIOS. And this is the one we're trying. It's a beta version but it's supposed to improve Ryzen CPU performance. So that's the reason why I'm downloading it, to try it out. It should be stable enough, but if you don't find it stable, you can go back to the previous version. This is the most stable one. So you just do the same process and reinstall this one. So after that, all you wanna do guys is click download. It's gonna be zipped. So you open it up and you drag it to your desktop and that will unzip it. You open it up and this is the file that you want to copy on your pen drive. After that just make sure your pen drive is plugged into your computer and restart your computer and boot to the BIOS. All right, when you're restarting your PC, what you want to do is you want to hit the delete key. So it starts booting into your BIOS. There we go. Now we're in the BIOS. The next thing you want to do, guys, is after you make sure that your pen drive was plugged in before you um, went in the BIOS, you want to go to your M flash. And then it's going to ask you if you want the computer to reboot into the flash uh, mode. So, yes. Okay, guys. So, now that you're in the pen drive, what you want to do is you want to select the file that you have in your pen drive. And make sure you select the uh, correct pen drive okay so you click on it and it says are you sure you want to select this file click yes and this is a very important step guys you don't want your PC to lose power and you don't want your PC to get turned off by any mean if that happens your motherboard is going to be trash pretty much it's going to be useless so this process is very crucial just make sure your pc doesn't lose any power and you should be safe now just let the process go after this is done all you want to do is reboot into your bios guys to make sure everything is the way you like it so for that just do the same thing delete key now all you gotta do guys is reboot your PC 
Uh, just remember, after this happens, if you had any overclocks, you're going to have to do the overclock again.